Hey everybody and welcome back. So we are in the milk room right now. Um, there were a few quick things that I wanted to show you guys. You can see we did just clean the floor in here. So it looks really nice. Um, I also did scrub the whole outside of the tank. Um, so that's nice and shiny and clean. So I did get a new toy and I wanted to show you guys. I'm super excited about it. We'll turn this light on so you can see better. Right here, um, if you've noticed, might look a little bare to you. And that's because the big pressure washer, the gas powered pressure washer that we had in here is now gone. So in its place, we got a nice fancy dancy new electric pressure washer. I am in love with this thing. It is so nice. I don't know why we didn't get one sooner. So this is just a Ryobi. It's actually 2000 PSI. Our other one was a 3000 PSI, so it's not a whole lot smaller as far as PSI goes, but it is a lot more compact. Just saves a lot of room in here. You don't have to drag it around. Um, has a really nice long cord on it. This nice trigger handle, a couple different nozzles that came with it. It's got this one right here, which is like a fan one, and it's got kind of this sprayer soaker one. And then on it, it's got the jet stream one. It's just so handy. We have the cord kept up here. It's a really long cord. Uh, we just got it plugged in right here. So just take this handle out and I'll show you guys how quiet it is. You just turn this water on, come over here, hit this button here, and then boom. And my favorite part about it is when you let go of the trigger, it stops. I'm sure all of them do that, but I'm just so used to the gas powered one. If you had to ever stop for a minute for anything, you had to shut it down and then start it back up. I just love the fact that you can let it go and you know just walk away and do something for a minute, come back and start it right up. It's just awesome. So it's gonna stay right there. We usually have the hose coiled up um, over here, but I had been using it, so that's why it's over there. So yeah, that's my new little toy there. Um, so the reason we did clean the floor was we are gonna be doing some patching in here. I think specifically over here in this area, cause you can see that there's a lot of spots um, that are kind of carved out a little bit just by water running down them all the time and everything. So we do have, hold on. The girls are inside. They're finishing up a dry bale right now. We finished milking about an hour and a half ago. Um, we were gonna let them outside today, but it's only supposed to be about 20 degrees. And it's supposed to be 40 tomorrow, so there's no reason they can't go out tomorrow. And today, they might as well just stay in here where it's nice and toasty. And they'll get some exercise tomorrow. So we did pick up this pail of self-leveling floor resurfacer. So we bought another one. That's actually what this darker colored stuff is right here. And had pretty good luck with it. I think we mixed it a little too thick, so it kind of pooled up over there. We didn't do a very good job. We're gonna try to do a better job this time. Make it a little thinner so it runs out a little more. But practice makes perfect, so we're gonna try that again. So, now for what we're gonna be doing today. Like I said, it's pretty cold, so we're not gonna be doing anything outside today, um, but we are gonna be doing some painting in here. So, somewhere over here, I don't know what I did with it. No, it's over here. We've got some good paint. This is actually exterior paint um, with primer and everything in it, but it has excellent adhesion and hide, fade resistance, cracking and peeling. It's great with dirt resistance and you can apply it down to 35 degrees, which I think is awesome. Um, and it also has a mildew resistance on it. So that everything about that is just great for a milk room because obviously it's always wet in here. So you want something you can wash down really easily, but is also good at, you know, um, not growing mold. So this right here, I just need to wash this. We just installed this when we put the window in and it's plastic. So that's dirty and I need to wash that. This was a gift from one of you guys watching and thank you so much. I have not tried it yet, but I'm super excited to try it. I'm using up my old coffee first. Um, we don't have a Trader Joe's. We might have a Trader Joe's, but it's like at least two hours away from us. So never had Trader Joe's coffee, but super excited to try it. There's nothing I like more than trying new coffees. I just love coffee so much that it's like one of the best things for me to try different coffees. So really excited about that. And thank you guys so much. And you also sent a little flashlight that had an inspection light on it. And I carry it everywhere with me now. And I just absolutely love it. So thank you so much for that. So the things you guys send are just so thoughtful and we really, really appreciate it. So anyway, we are gonna be painting this door here. I scraped it a while ago and I also did clean it with the pressure washer. That's why there's paint over here and also dirt in this corner is because I was spraying over here and I didn't really finish up. So we'll have to clean this up after we're done. 
but I'm gonna make a mess with paint anyway, so I'll just grab my trusty new pressure washer and clean it up when we're done. And this door obviously looks really, really terrible. This wall here is also not plastic, so we'll be painting that. And this, um, and over here probably. We probably aren't gonna have enough paint actually. This door takes a lot of paint for some reason. Um, I have scrubbed it too, but it's just so dirty from where our hands are constantly pushing it open. And sometimes we push it with our feet, but I did clean that off with a pressure washer as well. We're just gonna be doing a little upkeep in here today. So we'll try to open this, but I'm not sure. I don't have anything out here, so we may have to get a screw or something out to open that up. I hate going in here all the time because I feel like I'm bothering them. But most of them are still eating, so it's not too much of a bother, but some of them are sleeping. So can't you just leave us be? Okay. This is not the way you're supposed to do this. We do have a paint can opener. But it's all the way over in the shop and I really don't feel like walking, so. I should shake it, because I don't have a stirrer. Is it weird that I kind of like the smell of paint? That's probably weird, right? I'm just gonna use my paintbrush and brush this down first. The cobwebs in a barn are just unbelievable. Where you could sweep them down three times a day. Oh, I hear a burn. I'm gonna get knocked off my stool. Standing in front of it with a stool, so I didn't want you to open the door and knock me off. Yeah. It looks really good, this door. Yeah. I haven't gotten far yet, but. Kind of hard with that hole right there. I would worry about painting this door not, but it looks like it's been painted quite a few times. Doesn't it look good? Mm. Yeah, that's what I meant that. So you want me to paint the inside? Yeah. There, okay, yeah. I can do that. Just not, not this. Because no. that's stained, right? Yeah, that looks a lot better. So much better. There's a lot of big spiders in that. <laughs>
am officially out. I just finished up both cans of paint. I am completely covered in paint. I knew I would be, uh, but I've outdone myself. I'm surprised I don't have it on my face. I don't think I have it on my face. So I got this entire door done and it looks great. It's by far the best looking thing. This whole wall here, I did not get the top of this wall done, but I really wanted to focus on the bottom just right now because it was really dirty. Um, I did get this wall over here done. I didn't get the top done, but I got the bottom done all the way until here, obviously. You can tell where it starts getting nasty. Also, I just love this thing in here. It's like an old Worthmore feeds, I don't know what you call it, like a foldable desk. And um, we keep all the milk charts and everything in it. So yeah, I just got to finish this over here, this down here, um, some of this stuff around the whole electrical housing. I got to wash that wall back there by where the exhaust goes out through the wall. I'm really liking the way it's looking, but we need more paint. I did make a mess on the floor, so I'm going to have to clean that up, which means I have to use the pressure washer. Bummer. So I'm happy with it. Um, one more thing we do have to do before we get into something really exciting. Um, we do have to rinse out the tank because the milk driver just came. Um, the guy who comes now is really good about it. He always sprays it out. So, yeah, he did a pretty good job. Right, guys so it's actually the next day and we're going on a little bit of a road trip this is what i wanted to show you guys i'm so excited about it actually stopped right now getting some breakfast sandwiches this place makes really really good breakfast sandwiches so we're going to get a couple of those um i think we're getting a couple of pieces actually and some coffee obviously and then we're going to head out so what we're going to be doing is i convinced brent since he has to go pick up supplies for the milk room and everything anyway look at a piece of equipment with me so that's why we're actually in my truck is this is kind of my venture so it's actually an old corn planter so my family grows a really really big garden and we always plant like a lot of corn um, so it just takes forever it's really time consuming um, so we found a really cheap old corn planter it's a four row international corn planter and I am so excited to go see it so that's what we're gonna be doing we're gonna be going to get supplies and then we're gonna be looking at that I just really wanted Brent to come along because I know absolutely nothing about planters or anything like that he had basically stopped doing corn by the time I worked for him full-time um, I did help a little bit part-time but never like planting or anything like that just like covering the silage pile and stuff um, and packing the pile and stuff like that, but never planting or anything, so. That used to be a dairy right off there. That one? Yep. Used to be Fitzpatrick's dairy. Cool. Is that the one you said delivered milk to schools yep. when you were a kid? Yeah. That's cool. Look at them all. A sea of green. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah. Okay. I like that one. Okay, there's a merger over there. Yeah. Hooked onto a tiny little tractor. Yeah. <laughs> I bet that soil's black. Yeah. Right next to the river. So is this the farm right up here? You haven't been out yet? Nope, never. This was a Williams farm. Huh. 
so we did actually buy the planter, but as we were going home, we realized that it does have an issue with one of the tires. It's got a bearing going in or something, so instead of bringing it right home, um, we did bring it over to our welder, and we're going to have him fix that. But I'm going to get out and show you guys to it. I'm so excited. It's so cool. So this, uh, yeah, you can see it is hitting. Yeah, it's hot. Yeah, it's smoking right there. Not that. You like me again. Let me see if that was. It looks good though. Yeah. So got the marker arms. Needs a new axle bushing. But he said it works. Yeah. Alright, I'll back right over there. Okay. When you let it down, one side of the macro arm goes down, max it. Then you turn around and follow it back, and the other arm goes down and max it. So you just mac in your row, and then you straddle it on the way back. Pretty simple. Planting. I love it. Yeah. Everything works. Yeah. Look at that. Everything works just fine. Do all yours Hoppers turn over look there? good. What? Do all yours turn? Yeah. Boy, oh, lady, that's not that big. Everything's fine. We just cleaned the hoppers out on it. Fertilizers. We lifted it when we left and it's still fine. He can put that in. Model 56. Yeah. The stainless steel in the bottom of it. You know what? I love it so much. <laughs> you know what? That, the bottom of that is too. That did creep down a little bit. It's stuck in there now. That one's. What's prone? These two are pros. How about the outside? That one's fine. You probably could get them going with some WD 40. Oh, yeah. Goodbye. So we made it back to the farm after dropping off that planter. I'm just out here checking on the girls. Um, they're outside on the pad today. A few of them are out here. Most of them are inside where their bales are. Uh, but I just thought I'd come out here and check them. It's not icy out here anymore anyway. They did finish the bale that was out here and move the feeder from over here all the way over there. But yeah, super excited about the planter. Everything works on it. There are a few things on the fertilizer application. I don't know, application wheels, whatever you call them. Two of those are a little bit stuck, but I think with some WD-40, it would be fine. Everything else works fine. He said he used it and it worked beautiful. It was just too big for what he wanted to use it for. Honestly, it's probably too big for what I'm gonna use it for. I've never really planted corn before, so I think it's gonna be really, really exciting. It's old, but I just love old equipment, so I'm excited about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Something new, new to us anyways. Um, if you did like this video, please don't forget to like and comment down below and subscribe, of course. Join in on the fun and keep it real, keep farming, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.